Good afternoon and welcome to a whole new headline news. I'm Connor and I'm Blessing and we're your anchors, anchors for this, this week's broadcast. broadcast. Before we get to our segments, we have lots of announcements. The whole new is the HDA's new art and material magazines that you can submit your own creative works to. Submissions are available until November 29th through a link in Honu Hub. HDA is holding a food drive up, up until December 1st. The drop off box is by the front desk. Any canned and non purchasable items are greatly appreciated. The season of giving doesn't end there. Leadership class is holding a Lahaina toy drive where you can donate Christmas gifts to students affected by the Maui wildfires. To find more information, scan the QR code in Hodo Hub. Leadership's fundraiser for future Lahaina project ends today. There are two jars at the front desk, one voting for Mr. Andrew to keep his beard and one voting for him to shave it. What do you think about Mr. Andrew's beard? Should he shave it or keep it? I think he should keep it and I think he should grow it out. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. What's your opinion on Mr. Andrew's beard? Shave it or keep it? Keep it. Keep it? Mm -hmm. How long should he grow it? Three feet. He can braid it. It'll be like, you know, a Viking beard. Great. I like the ideas. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Shave it or keep it? I think he should keep it. Keep it? Yeah. Keep it at the length or grow it super long? Grow it out. Grow it out. Okay, thank you. (laughs) What do you think of Mr. Andrew's beard? Should he shave it or keep it? Uh, To be honest, it's pretty slay, so I guess keep it. How long should he grow it? To the length of it being long. Wow. The length of the longness. Amazing. Thank you very much. Miss Atuaya, what's your opinion on Mr. Andrew's beard? Should he shave it or keep it? I think I'd like to see him shave it. Thank you. Miss Marissa, should Mr. Andrew shave his beard or keep it? I think he should keep his beard. How long should he try and grow it out to? Forever. Forever. Thank you. All projects will go to leadership's my projects. One more student leadership announcement. We are proud to introduce you to Ohana Day. Join us for a day of fun on December 1st at our Pahu Uka Neighborhood Park. There will be soccer, football, and other games, ending with a student versus teacher dodgeball game. Volunteer opportunities are also available at food and drink stands. Sign up in one week in advance so we know how many students, teachers, and staff to expect. The sign-up is designated for high school students and high school teachers and staff. Our digital media program is holding another breakfast sale, but this time it's musubis. Each musubi is $1.50 and drinks are $1. No pre-order necessary. You can pay and pick up the morning of Thursday, November 30th from 8 to 8.30. As a reminder to our seniors, senior portraits are on December 1st. The submission form is in Onu Hub. Spear Week is almost here, Tuesday, December 5th will be Rhyme Without Reason Day. Thursday, December 7th is Sports Day. Tuesday, December 12th is Country vs. Country Club. And closing Spirit Week on Thursday, December 14th is Color War Day. There will be another open mic night on Thursday, December 7th from 5 to 8 p.m. in rooms 10 and 12. As always, there is an open walk around art gallery and all mediums are welcome on the mic. Lastly, we'd like to congratulate the group of HC Digital Media students for winning honorable mentions for Hiki Knows 2023 Fall Challenge. Awesome job, guys. I think that's the most announcements we ever had in one broadcast. Now into our segments. First up, our recent news recap with Sean. The Israel Hamas War two-year debt-free college, Maui's pink water pond, and more. Good afternoon, I'm Sean John, and this is your recent news recap. In the Middle East, the israel Hamas war has been going on since early October of this year, and has been increasingly more violent with both sides reporting high number of casualties. Schools, hospitals, and first responding services have been bombed. Many women and children have been killed. It's important to educate yourselves with the situation as it affects the politics of the United States. Shifting towards the states, Indiana's Butler University of Indianapolis has created two-year free debt colleges to offer associate's degree aimed at helping first-generation students get access to higher education. Graduates from this facility then continue their paths to a bachelor's degree for a flat rate of $10,000 per quarter instead of the usual cost. 
Coming back to Hawaii, Maui's Ke'alia Pond has attracted residents and tourists coming the past week for its neon pink colored water. This is because of a bacteria that has been found in it along with twice the salinity of seawater. They say it's not toxic, but samples have gone to the University of Hawaii for further research. Shining a spotlight on HTA, leadership is holding a fundraiser for Lahaina. Funding will go towards ongoing Maui projects. And today is the last day to support. Buckets for donations will be at the front desk. Finally, for this week's weather, expect mostly cloudy skies with a slight drizzle here and there. And temperatures are steady in the mid 80s during the day and low 70s in the night. And that's all for recent news. I'm Sean John and back to the anchors. Thanks, Sean. Now we have a sport report for tomorrow. Hey guys, welcome back to another sport report. Today I'm here with Sierra McElhannon. <laughs> and we're going to talk about Sierra's career in soccer and cross country. So, Sierra, what school do you play for and what position do you play? Um, I play for James Campbell High School and I play the outside back or center mid for soccer and then I run the 3.1 mile uh, race in cross country. <laughs> awesome. And how long have you been playing? Um, I've been playing since I was like five. Um, I started playing because of my brother and then it just like continued on from there. But competitively, I started playing like right before COVID and then COVID hit. So then I had to do it on my own. So not that many years competitively, but yeah. Cross Can you tell me a little bit about cross country? Yeah, so actually this is my first year doing cross country and I mostly joined it because I was, I'm a senior and I wanted to like like do another sport and I thought cross country you know I run in soccer I thought maybe I could I could do it so I joined cross country and oh my gosh I love it uh, many people tell me like why are you running for fun like who runs for fun and I'm like I do but I actually I I had the best time this past season um, I won some awards Woo! yeah so we won westerns as a team we got first place and then I came in tenth in that race that was a great experience like everyone was so happy and I was very proud because I put in so much work and like I never thought it would be good at another sport honestly so just to like have another sport that was fun and I really enjoyed all my teammates the coaches were amazing so what are your goals beyond high school in both soccer and cross country? I heard that you committed. I did. So um, for cross country, I just I'll just continue running like for like for my life and developing a healthy lifestyle in the future. I'm not going to do it like in college, but I committed to play at um, a school in Nebraska and it's called Concordia University. We went up there this summer. I loved it up there and I'm, I'm really excited to be with the team. They actually, they got second in their conference this year, which is so impressive because last year they were sixth. So there's a lot of growth there and I'm excited to be a part of a competitive team and hopefully win some championships or something, so. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm so excited for you when Thank you posted you. about it. I was like. <laughs> Thank you, it's been a long, a long process is the recruiting process and mm -hmm. I have advice for like other people going through it. It's yes. like there is a school for everybody. Like if you if that's something you want to do and play at the next level, there is a school for you and it's just like like some people don't think that. They're like, Oh, I'm not good enough, blah 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 but there is a school for everybody. Like if you want it, you can achieve it. So yeah, if anyone needs help with recruiting stuff, I've had a lot of experience, so come talk to me. I can send you my templates for emails or anything like that. So, yeah, if you guys need help, come come talk to me. Yeah. <laughs> That's the sweetest. And thank you for having me on the broadcast. Yeah. <laughs> thank you for being here. Go Sabres, guys. Go Woo! Sabres. <laughs> and back to our anchors. Thanks, Damar and Sierra. Next up, a quick fun fact with Sean. Did you know that the human brain is sometimes more active when we're asleep than when we are awake? This is proven because we dream for about two hours each night during REM sleep or rapid eye movement sleep. During this stage of sleep, our heart rate and blood pressure increase. 
and the activity of our brain is noticeably more dynamic. And now you know. Thank you again, Sean. And lastly, we have this week's H2H. I'm Connor. And I'm Rain. And we're reporters for East Week. Welcome back to another episode. The question of the week is what do you think, for boy? Let's go. Hi, I'm here with Zion. And the question for this week is what do you think, for boy? Uh, Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. Amen. Hi, I'm here with Tanner. Uh, Tanner, what are you most grateful for? I am most grateful for Good. my friends. Good. Who's your friends? Uh, people in the next room. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Hi, I'm here with And the question for this week is what are you thankful for? I'm What do you do? I'm thankful for Okay. Thank you. Hi, I'm here with Gemma. Gemma, what are you most thankful for? My boyfriend and my homegirls. Which boyfriend? <laughs> Top five. <laughs> Hi, I'm here with Aiden Mal. And the question is, what are you thankful for? For what? What are you thankful for? Thankful for. I'm thankful for my family. Cool. My family. Hi, I'm here with Kaden. What are you most thankful for? Jesus and my best friend. Yeah. Why are you such a hater? I don't know. Thank you for all who participated. And now back to our anchors. Thank you to our reporters and all who participated. This concludes this week's broadcast. Thanks for tuning in. Ta ta ta, ta, -ta, 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 -ta Catch you later. later.